everybody. Happy holidays, and we hope you're looking forward to a wonderful 2024. And I'm here with Jim Morish of Transformer Insights. And of course, I'm Leonard Lee, executive analyst at Next Curve. And just a subtle reminder, Jim is co-founder of Transforma Insights. And uh, many of you know, prob prob probably know that we have a partnership and uh, something that we've been looking forward to a long time. And uh, we're looking to do more collaborations into 2024. So uh, one of our first collaborations is going to be CES 2024. So Jim, looking forward to do this little uh, pre-event spiel. Um, how's it going? Uh, it's going. It's going well. Looking, looking forward to uh, looking forward to being partners in crime in Las Vegas, as you say. It should be an eventful start to the year. You know what? Why don't we share with our audience here uh, what we're anticipating or looking forward to at CES 2024? Do you have any thoughts? So, without doubt, I mean, the story of 2023 really was artificial intelligence, um, and it came out with a huge, uh, lot of not lot of noise, particularly around generative art, um, generative AI, which is which is fine for us. I mean, we're more en we're more enterprise guys, and generative uh, AI in an enterprise context and IoT context is more about interfacing with devices rather than really fundamentally changing what's under the hood. Mm -hmm. But um, but the amount of attention on a Generative AI has also spread across all of AI, so we're expecting a lot of AI stories. Yeah, um, I'm, I would have to say that um, that's something that I'm very interested in, and from a next curve perspective, and definitely um, that's one of the key areas that we're going to be collaborating on. I think on different levels, uh, yeah. you know, um, and um, the other things that I'm really interested in is uh, getting a feel for how AI and IoT are kind of converging to create these types of new um, possibilities, uh, both technically as well as from the standpoint of uh, new business opportunities for um, vendors out there. So that's one of the things that I'll, um, I think both of us will be focusing on against, uh, you know, kind of dividing and conquering and uh, getting a pretty broad and multi-tier view of what's uh what we can expect in 2024 yeah absolutely and and 2024 is just going to be the beginnings of the story i mean the convergence of uh, ai and iot is huge i um, mean we, we we have forecasts for for where we expect ai to be deployed and the amount of iot devices that are going to have ai on board is is really quite significant and it unveils a lot of challenges in terms of managing that is state um of of ai engines which are distributed and out in the field um so it'll be interesting to see how people are squaring up to these challenges and 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 what the visions are for where people want to want to take the, the com combination of ai and iot together yeah and so why don't you help our audience understand what transform insights going to look at specifically i'll share some of my thoughts on the next curve focus and then we'll talk about the converged uh, agenda that we're going to be going into in um, at CES uh, 2024. Absolutely. Um, so key topics for me, um, I've mentioned AI uh, clearly. Um, it, it's the from our perspective, it's the use of that AI, AI and what people are doing with it more than the chipsets and the and the under, underlying silicon. Um, another interesting topic is uh, non-terrestrial networks and the convergence between satellites and cellular. I mean, that, that's being phased out in the 3GPP standards releases, and it'll be interesting to see what people are planning to build with that. There's a lot of potential in there. Um, I, I, I'd, I'd be interested to see a slight reprieve of the metaverse. No, not the, not the legless avatars of uh, metaverse. But the um, but 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 actually using the metaverse or at least AR particularly and VR to some extent um, in enterprise contexts because they can be very impactful technologies. There were some very impactful solutions before before people came up with the term metaverse. Um, so hopefully we we're refocusing on some some real tangible benefits and of course you know, wearables and smart home. So so what what are you going to be focusing on, Leonard? Oh, wow. Um, as usual, um, pretty much everything and anything. <laughs> this year, I'm going to uh, I'm, I'm going to try to temper the number of uh, actual scheduled meetings and spend a lot of time on the floor just bumping into 
things serendipitously. But uh, some of the areas that I'll be looking at, uh, automotive tech is one. Uh, as you said, the metaverse or the aftermath of the metaverse hype, what's actually shaken out and is um, poised to uh, position itself in, in light of, uh, you know, quite frankly, Apple's uh, Vision Pro that's coming out next year. Uh, consumer IoT broadly with, uh, as you mentioned, uh, smart home falls into that, uh, as well as um, what uh, you know, next curve calls uh, smart living, okay, which is a broader scope. Where are we there with the evolution of that? Uh, the future of PC computing, a lot of people call it AI PC, uh, you know, going to be looking at how the whole generative AI trend is impacting uh, what personal computing is going to be looking like in 2024 and beyond. Uh, we talked about EV charging and uh infrastructure uh that's something that we noticed last year we're going to continue to see uh, to observe how that is progressing this year uh sensors haptics semiconductors we will be looking at that and talking to many of the big vendors um wearables and um other cool stuff <laughs> absolutely that? and it's that it's it's that other cool stuff i noticed that you've uh you you, you said you're going to spend some time walking the floor so presumably you're you're lining up your next technology purchases oh, yeah. for the rest of 2024 um, definitely i i mean the areas that we're going to be uh, collaborating on very closely are uh, like again the core of what we uh we look at is the digital technologies that are going to be transformative in the areas of iot AI uh, and domains uh, such as the smart city, smart home. And so the audience, can, I think, can ex expect um, a lot of insights coming from us uh, in this collaboration and some of the media coverage that we provide during the course of the event. So did I miss anything? Is there anything else that you wanted to uh, pop out there for our audience to be aware of? Um, last thing I would say, though, is that if, any, if anyone meet, wants to meet either of us, we'll be there. So please get in touch. Oh, wonderful. Yes, please reach out to us and um, remember to follow Next Curve, um, myself, uh, as well as Transforma Insights and Jim Morish on LinkedIn. You can check out our respective sites. The Next Curve website is www.next-curve.com and Transforma Insights is at www.transformainsights.com. As I mentioned, we'll be filming vlogs and uh, vignettes uh, on a daily basis uh, where Jim and I will be sharing our takes for that day. And we'll also have an event summary or recap. Remember to subscribe here and you will get all the content you need that matters from CES 2024. Have a happy holiday season, and we hope you have a prosperous and joyous 2024 of peace.